addition to my studio apartment and workspace for everything photography, editing, blogging, cooking. I'm so happy that you're here today. I love the space I've created for my brand and just to live day to day. I have my desk area where I sit with my coffee in the mornings and write to you guys and make all my editing happen. And I even bring people into my workspace for photo shoots for one-on-one -on -one meetings because I think it's such a personable way for them to see a little bit inside of my brand. I've been able to design my entire studio space and it's really my personality on the walls. I love my hat wall. I love all my furniture that I found in Greenville and I love my white, my white desk, my mug wall. It really just feels like a coffee shop and an apartment all in one. here today I'm gonna to be walking you through my flat lay creations and how I make a flat lay at home I go and get a white poster board which I can lay anywhere in my apartment I go and get all the products I'm going to be shooting that day and I lay them out where they're aesthetically pleasing capturing to the eye above it at the perfect angle and snapshot that photo. And I have seasonal flat lays I try to do every year and I love them. It's such a creative way to add some additional posts to your feed and to your blog. And my favorite from this year was my fall flat lay. My fall flat lay was everything pumpkin spice from Trader Joe's. I went and got everything pumpkin, some leaves from outside, some apple cider, and I laid it all out on my white poster board and captured that perfect flat lay. In addition to my Christmas one I did with peppermint and I got fake snow and made it very Christmassy for that season. a healthy lifestyle and workspace is really important to me and with my allergy restrictions it's hard for me to go out and edit and work at restaurants where I have to pay extra for snacks and food so I make my dairy-free smoothies almost every day in between editing and between photo shoots and my favorite ones are my berry smoothie everything's almond based so my almond based berry smoothie is made with almond milk berries spinach almond butter I blend it up in my magic bullet blender and then I probably have that every single day. Fueling myself every few hours allows me to be the best version I can be for my clients and just for my creativity in general. But if I do want a sweet tooth, I will make my cocoa banana um, berry smoothie. So I will add my same ingredients but add peanut butter and then cocoa powder and a little honey and have my awesome smoothie on the go. Making my smoothies has really impacted my work ethic and my energy levels when trying to balance writing blog posts and doing little collaborations and things like that because I can always take it with me. I've taken it with me into meetings and it's just a great way to boost my energy and to have something tasty and something to share with you guys. I will shop at Harris Teeter, Publix or Trader Joe's to get those bags of spinach every week and add it to my smoothies. And you can't taste it at all, so I get my nutrition and an awesome sweet tooth. Coming up on my blog and Instagram feed, I will be doing a lot of couple photo shoots and bridal photo shoots and a lot of video content that will be on my YouTube channel that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I hope this inspires you today to make a creative space for yourself and that you're empowered to go and do what you love and to follow what you're passionate about. Thank you guys for coming today. I'm really excited to meet all of you online and in person in Greenville. So make sure you go like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.